7, 11, 7 degrees. Thank you so much, Andy. Checking in with Jill Bellin this morning. She's hanging out at Edge Multi Sport Academy on the west side of town. Yes, we're here out in Springbank, the Edge School, and it's a bright and early start for these athletes and students here this morning. And happy to be joined by Cam Hodgson, who is the Executive Director and CEO of Edge School. Good morning to you. Thank you for having us. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Uh, this is great. We've always wanted to come out here because we've heard how amazing the programs are. So we're, we're happy to spend the morning with you. And is this a typical start for these students? This is a little earlier than some of the starts. But yeah, there are high school kids start sport training first thing in the morning. And then their academics follow that, and that's done intentionally. Okay. Uh, yeah, talk a little bit about the relationship between physical literacy and academics and what the philosophy is of the school. Sure, there's, there's lots of research that shows that kids that are active and, and uh, have a strong background in physical literacy are more receptive to instruction. And their achievement in academics goes up when that happens. And particularly the high school kids, they don't learn really well at 8 in the morning. But at 10 in the morning, they do. And if you front load their exercise first thing in the morning, the results you get from them are, are significantly better. Okay. Some of the results of these students being grade 12 girls who will move on to post-secondary. Talk a bit about some of the graduates of the program and where they're headed to. Well, we have one girl that's headed to the NCAA, and, uh, and she's a very strong student. The average mark on this team is over 80%. And so these kids achieve over 80% on their diploma exams. We've got a number of kids going to Mount Royal University, uh, University of Saskatchewan, University of PEI. So all of our grade 12 students have a place to play next year. Excellent. And not just hockey, but uh, athletics of many varieties. So what kind of athletes do you support here? We have a very strong dance program, which you'll be seeing throughout the morning. Uh, we have a soccer program, a golf program. We also have a multi-sport program where kids don't have to specialize in one sport, but they can experience uh, high-level training and technical training in a variety of sports. Okay, interesting. And what, what have you seen in the students here in your experience uh, in the last four years, what they get out of being a part of a team environment but also having that academic edge? Well, it really provides them. It's, it's holistic. It's a holistic approach to their education and their sport training. So they get everything from the high-performance sport training. We have a, a physio center on site here, so any treatments, they don't have to leave to get treatments for injuries and that kind of thing. And then teachers who really understand what it is to train anywhere from 10 to 40 hours a week on top of trying to do your academics full-time. And the kids benefit from all of that. They appreciate it. And uh, they buy into the culture of the school and, and helping out the other kids around the school as well. Cool. Quite the commitment of these students here this morning. We're excited to take a tour of the facility and check out some of the other programs. I can't wait to see the dancers, guys. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Ted, you were enjoying that drill. There yeah, it was a good dinner. timing drill. You know, like you got a circle, you make the pass, and then you, as the defenseman, you wait, mm -hmm. and you have to time it so you're not offside when you're going up. It's great. High level hockey at the it's edge good. school. Yeah, we'll catch school. up with Jill in just a little bit. We're catching up.